Hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from TechFans. Yeah, so I have made a video of uh, revisiting this uh, uh, Redmi 12 5G with the Hyper OS 2.0 and Android 15 based. So, so in this video, I will be installing the uh, custom ROM on our device. That is also again uh, Android 15 based. So the one which I uh, chose is this uh, latest uh, Evaluation X 10.5. Uh, so this uh, particular ROM is the QPR uh, 2 it has the g apps and it is signed and uh, there are multiple uh, features uh, baked with this uh, evaluation x you know about evaluation uh, evaluation x right so i no need to uh, tell about that uh, i have uh, downloaded the required files so this is the 18 uh, 4 2025 uh, build with the uh, it should be like and uh, april uh, 2025 security patch so uh, you have a download link and recovery and the screenshots so screenshots uh, looks uh, uh, promising you have the uh, play integrity fix and all the things and you have the flashing guide here right so i will be uh, following this one so make sure your uh, device is uh, device bootloader is unlocked so there is a uh, next video coming up uh, to share my frustration of unlocking this in the hyper 2.0 so there is no <laughs> proper method i would say to be honest uh, so i don't know why xiaomi Redmi, or poco is doing like this i really hate this behavior from them and so yeah make sure your bootloader is unlocked so first thing is i will just uh, reboot uh, turn this device off right once it is uh, turned off i have to uh, uh, do the volume down and power which will reboot to the bootloader yeah so it is now in bootloader so now i will just connect to this cable okay yeah so first thing is i have to download the rom and recovery from here i have downloaded it and then i need to reboot to bootloader i have did so i need to do fast boot flash uh, recovery uh, a and recovery b so uh, this is the important step uh, so for that reason i have to uh, have the um, adb fast boot tool so here i have this adb fast boot tool i will just copy paste it in here with me right so yeah so i'll keep the adb fastboot tool here as well so inside platform tool you have all the files so you have to click in the uh, top uh, url box or uh, path uh, file so there i uh, can type cmd okay so now i have uh, the cmd opened so here if i type uh, uh, fast boot devices you can see this is the uh, fast boot device uh, is connected the device is connected as fast boot device if it is not showing which means the driver is not installed properly i have made a, a separate video to showcase that how to install the fast boot and adb driver so you can go through that so now i can uh, follow with the step i have the step here as well so fast boot flash uh, recovery partition a and then the recovery so here you see this recovery dot image is not there in here so i will for that i will uh, drag and drop uh, differently so what i have to do is well uh, uh, fast boot fast boot flash space uh, recovery okay recovery underscore a right so there are two partition in the uh, device so we are first flashing it in the a partition so if you want to know about uh, two partition uh, system two slot system i again i have made a dedicated video you can watch it so uh, first i will flash it in a so i will go back to evaluation x folder and here i have my recovery so make sure you download these three files um, so i can uh, drag and drop this recovery file and uh, install okay now uh, a is installed so again i have to install b so now i can just simply uh, use the uh, previous command for that you can use uh, uh, a paro and then i can remove this a to b okay so now uh, the b partition also it is installed so next what i have to do well i need to reboot to the recovery so for that i have uh, again another command like fast boot um, reboot recovery okay which will reboot to the recovery yeah we have successfully booted this into the recovery our storage also now visible so next what i have to do is 
um the next step is uh, while in recovery navigate to factory reset and format data and uh, factory reset and confirm the format device when doing so back come back main menu and apply the patches so uh, this is important so first what i do is i will go to this wipe option and then i will wipe uh, dalvik uh, uh, this uh, data and uh, this three options so this is you can do okay once it is done uh, go to this format data and type yes so this will erase all your data the previous step also will erase all your data so make sure to have a backup of all the things so yeah yeah now the format is done um, so they we may need to reboot to the recovery to again uh, to use the device so i will do reboot to recovery so uh, now i will go to this uh, special setting inside here you have adb side load option you can uh, um, uh, do this also wipe cache and dalvik it is not an issue but but we have done the latest uh, recently only so uh, select this final option and then uh, drag this so this will uh, do the adb side load now we can go back to the system so uh, once you are in the adb side load you need to do adb side load and rom zip and uh, uh you instead of this you can actually put your uh, name we can just directly drag and drop the file it is not a problem so uh, first uh, i will check whether uh, this uh, device is connected in adb so first uh, i will type adb devices if it shows uh, it is in adb it is fine yeah it is in side load method so now what i will do is i will just uh, uh, put a uh, adb space side load okay adb side load and then i will have this evaluation x right os i have it in here so i will just drag this and drop it in here and type enter simple as simple as that so this orange fox is uh, feeling like a uh, crashed but uh, the uh, installation is still going on in here so i think it's not a problem okay it's opening there are few uh, slight glitches in this uh, uh, orange fox so yeah usually it will go uh, till 42 percentage and then it will uh, stop so don't uh, panic if it uh, goes till 47 and it stop you don't feel like it has failed it is actually the it is uh, how it is working so once we have uh, installed this one uh, adb side load we can reboot to recovery again uh, to side load errors but we are not, we no need to do this so yeah we can just directly reboot to the system also here you see that um, uh the uh, flashing is happening in the inactive slot which is a slot so the current slot is b actually uh, whenever the rom is getting installed it will always install in the inactive partition so now the inactive partition is a so when we do the reboot we need to make sure that uh, it is in the b partition so yeah we may need to um, install the uh, recovery again after installing the rom so that also one of the step to do we can check it like after uh, this uh, done uh, we can check whether it is uh, rebooting to a partition by doing the uh, reboot to recovery option so now it is in uh, 46 percentage so yeah 47 yeah yeah see here Uh, here only they clearly mentioned that uh, uh, devices on super may not uh, mount until after rebooting to recovery to flash additional zip please reboot to recovery to switch the updated slot so uh, now you see here i will go to uh, reboot option so in the reboot you can see um, uh, the current slot is b so we need to switch to a partition so for that i will just reboot to recovery if the recovery is uh, not installed Uh, after installing the custom rom we can uh, again install it it will go to fast boot so we need to make sure yeah it is there orange fox is there so yeah 
if in this situation if it goes to some other recovery or something else just to reboot to fast boot or bootloader and you can install the recovery again so now if i click reboot the slot is a so here you can see so a slot is there so now it is uh, switched to the partition so i can just uh, reboot to the system by this time you can even uh, remove this cable so it's not at all required yeah evaluation x is getting booted yeah so welcome to evaluation x good you have this many space i don't know why it is in the bottom uh i can skip this step i have connected to my wifi I'll sign into my Google account and then I will do the backup. So I'll set the fingerprint as well. Phase unlock. Yeah, phase unlock is done. Yeah, I'll copy. Yeah, now we are in our home screen, so I'll just swipe up. So this is a little bit uh, slow in the first uh, step because uh, there are multiple things getting installed in the back end. So I will go here and uh, check the status like uh, about phone. and and at 15 so this is the evaluation x with the april 5 2020 uh, five security patch which is great and then uh, uh, maiden skyf okay good this is the unofficial one so yeah so one more thing i wanted to uh, check is this uh, play store uh, uh, certify certification so certified play store i'll go to settings and about So this device is certified. Here you can see. It is showing. So that is somewhat uh, relieving. So all other apps are getting installed. So you don't have the uh, Google camera in here, right? So you have the normal uh, AOSP camera like every other uh, room. Okay. So do we have what all the features we have? So in the setting we go back. Oh sorry. Here we have a evolver. So in evolver we have all the uh, theming option and uh, quick setting and everything. So yeah, let me go through this uh, one by one and I'll make a review video on this. So one more thing I want to test is uh, this uh, free form. So desktop. I don't know why this uh, free form options are not at all uh, uh, working properly. So yeah, I will check on that. So other than that, uh, there isn't uh, uh, much of the things going on. So yeah, that's what the installation of uh, this uh, Evaluation X uh, 10.5. So thank you for watching. I will uh, make sure to leave a link of all these things in the description of this video. But if you want to make sure that you are doing the correct thing, wait for the review video. I will be making it soon. So yeah, watch previous video here. Subscribe here. Thank you for watching. Quote motto.